y'all, it's me, Laura B. at Craft and See with Laura B. How is everyone? Bad day. It is my time. It is, well, what is it? It's Thursday. Um, and so I want to do the front and back cover of my macabre Edgar Allan Poe um, mashup journal. I don't know if I will have time to do a flip through on this. Depends on how it works out. So my idea is to take this glue gun and make little lines, little blood drips down the front. Now I've tried this before. It does work. However, it does peel off fairly easily. And actually, okay, it peels off easily. But I figure whoever gets this journal, buys this journal, is not going to go picking at it. So anyway, so here we go. I've got my little low temp heat gun because I really don't want to melt the fabric any more than I have to. And let's get straight into it and see if this works. Now here we go. I wonder. No, it's too. It's too. I was going to get that uh, stencil out and then I was like, no, it's too... Uh, So of course we only have as much as this hot glue gun will allow us to Yes, they have strings. And I will deal with them when I'm done. one. I think this is going to look pretty nice. Pretty unique. Um, if anybody watched my uh, uh, a few of us got together and did a uh, Think Outside the Box challenge and we had come up with a, a prompt and I chose a uh, hot glue. So apparently I like hot glue. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to make any more drips. See how it, it does come up. Hopefully it'll stay on. If not, on to something else. Because if, when it comes up, I did this on the scrap piece. When it comes up, it uh, comes off cleanly, is what I'm trying to say. What if we did this way as well? You know, nothing's eerier than blood drips coming from the floor, right? Okay, I've got another one out there, ready to go. If you can hear my humming, it's this. I don't know, it's this. Just a few notes. I don't really know where it came from. And in all honesty, I couldn't hum it on cue if I tried. Okay, but nevertheless, Ugh. nothing worse than hot glue strings. Concentrating, obviously. Excuse my sniffs. I 
been listening to Audible. Um, it's a book I actually have. It's called uh, Six Wives of Henry VIII. It's a, it, you know, it's quite a long book. It's, you know, I have, like I said, I have it, the paperback version, and it's pretty thick. Okay, so here we go. And after trial and error, I tried paint. I tried this. Um, I tried something else. The alcohol markers come out the best. So all we're going to do is color this. And again, you know, I tried it on a scrap piece of fabric, and it seemed to work out quite well. I will have to go over this more than once. And if worse comes to worse, we can peel these off and then actually glue them on. Which may be something I all need to do. We shall see. probably going to fast forward this because, you know, who wants to watch this? Oh shoot, got a little bit on the fabric. Don't really want to do that.
Okay. All right. I'd be back. So I think, yeah, this is pretty much, it's dry. And it's about as red as I can get it. There you go. Now on to the back. I get this. This tapestry fabric sure likes to show everything, doesn't it? Alright, so this is what I want to do for the back. It is just part of a manuscript of his with his signature, and I just backed it on some cardstock that I don't care about. Now, my original thought was I wanted to show his signature, but then I'm all off, you know, not centered. But I'm trying to see if I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to just cut that off and it's not going to be as big as I thought it was going to be. That way I can have plenty of room. Yes, I like that. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna round the edges if I don't find my little corner rounder. There's that. Two. I put, now that I have three of those lazy Susans, I don't always put things back where I used to have it. everything else that I did. Oh crap. I'm gonna get back out of there. Come on, get up here. did it in this kind of black Versafine black onyx only because I want it darker than the black soot oxides give it however also, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take that off. Ooh, wow. Sorry. Hang on. There. I will be very happy in just under two weeks to get this boot off because, boy, it is painful. It is actually more comfortable to wear shoes or go barefoot than to have this thing on but like I said I got scolded a little bit so and of course I still haven't heard back from you know last Friday as much as I like my podiatrist and I really do they're not much for that's not what I wanted they're not much for a communication so I don't know if it's just because she's busy. It seems like she does a lot of surgeries. I don't know. Oh, God. gosh. Oh, many. Okay. So I'm fairly satisfied with that. Make sure I'm on camera. Oh. And I'm going to glue and oof, this to that. I had the bright idea because this kept coming out of the earring back. I'm just gonna take it out and glue it to, you know, whatever. You, you know, stick the pin 
onto um, one of the jump rings. <laughs> Duh, it doesn't have a way to do that. So I have to fix it. Okay, here we go. And if you can't tell, I uh, glossy accented the roses and the flames. Now let's turn this over and go. with that. Now for this part. I'm using uh, Fabri-Tac. In today's video, the video that went up today was supposed to go up yesterday, but had so much going on, and the day just got away from me. I was lucky to get it recorded. I didn't get it recorded Tuesday, and I was lucky to get it done yesterday, and I did not get it done, and obviously it uploaded on Wednesday. So this video will go up tomorrow, which is Friday. And we'll do jobs of good. As they say, there we go. I'm just trying to make sure that Everything's out of the tip of this. Yeah, so it doesn't clog as much. Okay, so there we have that. And we are at 22 minutes. So let's do a quick flip through. Oops, sorry. So as you can see, I took tapestry that Mitzi sent me on the outside, and then I covered it with the same fabric tapestry again I guess you would call it um, on the spine and then didn't like the way it looked so I covered that with lace and then I sewed in the signatures and if I would have been thinking I would have put this lace on the top of the signature and forgive this banded but I was fixing Joe's shoes yesterday his shoelaces and I actually sliced my finger open with a pair of tweezers because I was like trying to get it through the opening and oh yeah yeah Anyway, so, okay, here we go. Oops, this is supposed to go on there. I have a little tiny dangle that is going to go on here somewhere. All right, so inside cover, that red tapestry. And these are from uh, Wild Bohemian Rose, I believe. Inside, we have a little pull-out journal that is, the cover is my x-rays that Kyung graciously made them look really cool and i just used this was the purple when my printer was acting up which i gotta get that mail back oh. this is some of my blackberry stain come on now stain paper and just just myriad of stuff stuffs so something interesting to write on i hope there you go. And I had um, stenciled the back of them. I am putting them in like this because where I folded the uh, manila 
file folder paper. It's not a filed folder. It's just a big sheet. Uh, it, if I go like this, it sticks on it. So they are folded like that, or inserted like that. Now these, again, um, I have Edgar Allan Poe from Kyung Shotwell and uh, her macabre kit all woven in here. And she graciously allowed um, me to use other creators' papers, and I used it not as, you know, actual paper paper, but in cards and stuff. Here is a index card that I covered with, I had jelly printed with all these grays. I can't remember what I was doing. I did it quite a while ago. And then I had printed one of her background papers on clear label. So here is he, a bunch of Edgar Allan Poe. Again, this is Wild Rose Bohemian. And I cannot remember. Here's some of my coffee stain paper that I did over the weekend, I think it was. And of course I went with the lighter. Here, I, you know what, and I, I can't remember who this is from off the top of my head, but it'll all be linked down. It was linked the, the last time. These are from Kyung. I believe these are the Macabre and the Edgar Allan Poe. These are Edgar Allan Poe. Quote me and I'll deny it though. And these are her washi tapes, which I put on double-sided tape. And they're just included to put wherever someone wants. Jelly printing. Here is one of her papers that I just stamped on the middle. Inside, put some butterflies. And this is from Lady Blackblood. And I think these are two. And then Lady Blackblood again, I believe. I'm pretty sure, yes. And then this... You know, it's in there in my... I have an Edgar Allan Poe file. And this is in there. So, I assume... I, I cannot guarantee it's from Lady Blackbud. This was the one I liked the most. Where you've got the skeleton. Which is Mrs. Ella's Attic. Praying to the... Giving homage to the crow. Which I backed onto a doily and just distressed it. This, I crumpled up one of his manuscripts and then oxided it. I oxided it. And then uh, the quotes are from Adamo Prince, my Blackberry. And then I had lined this with some more of this backing paper, whom I cannot tell you who it's from, in all honesty. So, you take that out, both of them, and this is obviously. And I did chose not to cover these because I really liked, these were scraps, and I just absolutely loved them as they were. So here are a couple journal cards, or one journal card, and an envelope. From Kim, and then I put this vintage paper that I was going to include in something, and it's just too fragile. So I'm not even gonna take it out fully. Because it just likes to tear. It does, it does, it does. Let's go this way. More of my x-ray. And yeah, this is Kyun. And here is a trifle tag from Lady Blackblood. Again, I'm approximating these. I'm pretty sure that's who that's from. This is tissue paper, not tissue paper, tracing paper with the Poe background. This, I just took some clear gesso and swiped it on and then took the red, um, this VersaFine Claire and swiped it over here. Blackberry, Lady Blackbud, and I splatted throughout these. I did some stuff like this where I just used a stencil, and this is a crackle paste. Miss, uh, I know who this is. I just words are not coming to my head. 
Wild Rose Bohemian. All these weird colorful ones, that's who that's from. And then here's just journal cards that I just chose to put stuff on. So this is obviously Kyung. Lady Blackblood. No, this is somebody else, and I will, I will go through my files and link it below. So here's this, more of his manuscript, journal cards inside. This is Ella's attic. This is the. Um, I keep wanting to say attic, attic, attic. You know, upstairs. That stencil that I was talking about. Here's my demonic squirrel that I absolutely love. More journal cards. I chose to back in both sides or Kyung's. And cut out Mr. Poe. Stuck him on his manuscript. Put Wretched in this little purple doily that I was like, eh, looks good. That's one of my rare just slap it on there ones. I just really like the demonic squirrel. Here's the other part of this dragon art. Another pocket book page. Just a tag with, uh, I believe this is her macabre. And then this is background paper that Poe, that again is in my Edgar Allan Poe file folder. I cannot guarantee it is who it's from. I can say this is Lady Black Blood. And I don't remember who that is. Again, I linked all these people in my last video. I will just copy and paste that thing. So here's a little envelope I did not close, so it's a little writing spot. Here's the Telltale Heart and Mr. Poe. Lots of Mr. Poe. The tortured soul that he was. So here is, this is Lady Blackbud. And I made these like journal cards where you insert a card into it, and this is the backing of it. Kyung, and I don't remember. Oh, look, I did it upside down. Ah, rare misprint. That's what I call those. Rare misprint. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This is something I got off of just, I don't know, public domain. And I colored in, obviously. This was all white. And then I made him demonic, too, but you're making his little red eye. And slapped him on a book page with this uh, cheesecloth that I used oxide sprays on and stains. There's that. Didn't put that one upside down. Mm. More Kyung. I made these papers a long time ago with distress oxides and smushing and all that stuff and I actually took them and added a bunch of red or, or orange for uh, my Day of the Dead Halloween mashup one so here somebody can color the dragon if they would so choose this one where I got a little happy with the the lighter got away from me a little bit so I took a little light cardstock, mounted it with felt, put this Halloween fabric at the little demonic little girl, because you know, little girls, and it flips up, so there's never more Mr. Poe, and on this little piece of, I don't even know, linen, fabric, whatever, that I had distressed oxide and everything, and so that's where that I used black ribbon, then uh, orange sari silk, and then this jack-o'-lantern from I don't remember who. Here's your center signature. I did this in gesso, stenciled that on. Oh yeah, I wanted to put little, I may or may not find um, little charms to put in there. Cause Oh, look, <laughs> I forgot. I was gonna put these somewhere and I forgot, so I will eventually do that. More the other side of the dragon that you can color if you wish so wish. And more of that manuscript that I crumpled up and oxided. And this, again, is Wild Rose Bohemian. 
I like the crow. And you flip it over and here is a journal card in there, which I probably should put a... So I took two of Kyung's background paper and just cut them out the way I liked them. There you go, and that's not upside down. Oh well. Another one of those journal cards are not mm, recipe card things that I had oxided and then I just had that clear label that I had printed that on. I really did not. No, I guess it goes. I really like this little guy and this skull in there. The bloody skull. More of these trifolds, but I didn't back them with coffee stain paper. I just shaded them, or stenciled them. Duh, duh, duh. go. And this one, again, my x-ray, Wild Up Bohemian, and I just, you know, made a little extra writing spot with whatever I had at hand. I did obviously grunge it up a little bit. There we go. And again, it goes in the opposite, so it doesn't and it doesn't go in very far because of that. Kyung, Wild Bohemian Rose. And here is an envelope I did make into one. And just put extra journal cards. These are her, uh, Kyung's, I guess you might call them cut-aparts, but they're little journal cards. And I believe, as long as the post office can read the you know, to and from, this is mailable, I think. And here we just did the back. So there we go. And I will attach that somewhere and these somewhere. So they got to go back in here so I can finish it. All right. And this is just sorry silk that I actually cut too long. <laughs> it was, I actually was able to just one long piece because I didn't want to use all of it. Alright, so there we have it. I really like the front. I don't think I'm going to do ever anything else to it. My may. It depends. So here you have it. And if you like this journal, if you like what you have seen, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment box. It doesn't have to be words. It can just be, you know, an emoji. All of that gets my channel noticed. Share. If you like this journal, please share. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And on that note, I bid you adieu. Peace out. Bye, guys.